The RL-10 is a liquid-fuel cryogenic rocket engine used on the Centaur, SIV, and Delta cryogenic second stage upper stages. Built in the United States by Aerojet Rocketdyne formerly by Pratt & Whitney Rocketdyne, the RL-10 burns cryogenic liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen propellants, with each engine producing 64.7 to 110 kilonewtons 14,545 to 24,729 lbf of thrust in vacuum depending on the version in use. The RL-10 was the first liquid hydrogen rocket engine to be built in the United States, and development of the engine by Marshall Space Flight Center and Pratt and & Whitney began in the 1950s, with the first flight occurring in 1961. Several versions of the engine have been flown, with three, the RL-10A42, the RL-10B2, and the RL-10C1 still being produced and flown on the Atlas V and Delta IV. The engine produces a specific impulse ISP of 373 to 470 s 3.66 to 4.61 kilometers per second in a vacuum and has a mass ranging from 131 to 317 kilograms 289 to 699 pounds depending on version Six RL-10A3 engines were used in the SIV second stage of the Saturn I rocket, one or two RL-10 engines are used in the Centaur upper stages of Atlas and Titan rockets, and one RL-10B2 is used in the upper stage of Delta IV rockets. Topic history The RL-10 was first tested on the ground in 1959, at Pratt & Whitney's Florida Research and Development Center in West Palm Beach, Florida. The first successful flight took place on November 27, 1963. For that launch, two RL-10A3 engines powered the Centaur upper stage of an Atlas launch vehicle. The launch was used to conduct a heavily instrumented performance and structural integrity test of the vehicle. The RL-10 was designed for the USAF from the beginning as a throttleable motor for the Lunex lunar lander, finally putting this capability to use 20 years later in the DCX VTOL vehicle. Topic: <laughs> Improvements. The RL-10 has been upgraded over the years. One current model, the RL-10B2, powers the Delta IV second stage. It has been significantly modified from the original RL-10 to improve performance. Some of the enhancements include an extendable nozzle and electro-mechanical gimballing for reduced weight and increased reliability. Current specific impulse is 464 seconds 4.55 kilometers per second. A flaw in the brazing of an RL-10B2 combustion chamber was identified as the cause of failure for the May 4, 1999, Delta III launch carrying the Orion 3 communications satellite. Aerojet Rocketdyne is working toward incorporating additive manufacturing into the RL-10 construction process. The company conducted full-scale, hot-fire tests on an engine with a printed core main injector in March 2016, and on an engine with a printed thrust chamber assembly in April 2017. <laughs> <laughs> Applications for the RL-10 Four modified RL-10A5 engines, all of them with the ability to be throttled, were used in the McDonnell Douglas DCX, the direct version 3.0 proposal to replace Ares I and Ares V with a family of rockets sharing a common core stage, recommends the RL-10 for the second stage of their proposed J-246 and J-247 launch vehicles. Up to seven RL-10 engines would be used in the proposed Jupiter upper stage, serving an equivalent role to the Ares V Earth departure stage. Topic common extensible cryogenic engine The common extensible cryogenic engine CC, is a testbed to develop RL-10 engines that throttle well. NASA contracted with Pratt & Whitney Rocketdyne to develop the CC demonstrator engine. In 2007 its operability with some chugging was demonstrated at 11 to 1 throttle ratios. In 2009 NASA reported successfully throttling from 104% thrust to 8% thrust, a record for an engine of this type. Chugging was eliminated by injector and propellant feed system modifications that control the pressure, temperature and flow of propellants. 
In 2010, the throttling range was expanded further to a 17.6,1 ratio, throttling from 104% to 5.9% power. Topic: <laughs> Advanced cryogenic evolved stage. As of 2009, an enhanced version of the RL-10 rocket engine was proposed to power the upper stage versions of the Advanced Cryogenic Evolved Stage ACES, a long-duration, low-boil-off extension of existing ULA Centaur and Delta Cryogenic Second Stage DCSS technology for the Vulcan launch vehicle. Long-duration ACES technology is explicitly designed to support geosynchronous, cislunar, and interplanetary missions as well as provide in-space propellant depots in LEO or at L2 that could be used as way stations for other rockets to stop and refuel on the way to beyond LEO or interplanetary missions. Additional missions could include the provision of the high-energy technical capacity for the cleanup of space debris. SLS exploration upper stage In April 2016 it was reported NASA has chosen to use a design based on four RL-10 engines for the exploration upper stage to be used beginning with the crewed M2 mission of the Space Launch System. In October 2016 NASA confirmed these reports when it announced that the exploration upper stage would utilize a new variant of the engine identified as the RL-10C3. <laughs> Omega upper stage In April 2018, Orbital ATK announced it would use two RL-10C51 engines for their Omega to power the upper stage. Blue Origins BE-3U and Airbus Safran's Vinci were also considered before Aerojet Rocketdyne's engine was selected. Topic: <laughs> Vulcan Centaur upper stage. On May 11, 2018, United Launch Alliance (ULA) announced that Aerojet Rocketdyne would be strategic partner with their RL-10CX upper stage engine for ULA's next generation Vulcan Centaur rocket, following a competitive procurement process. Topic: Variants. Specifications Original RL-10 Thrust – altitude – 15,000 lbf – 66.7 kN Design – expander cycle Specific impulse – 433 seconds – 4.25 km per second Engine weight, dry, 298 pounds, 135 kilograms. Height, 68 in, 1.73 meters. Diameter, 39 in, 0. 99 meters. Nozzle expansion ratio, 40 to 1 propellants, liquid oxygen, liquid hydrogen propellant flow, 35 pounds per second, 16 kilograms per second. Contractor, Pratt & Whitney vehicle application, Saturn I, SIV second stage, six engines vehicle application, Centaur upper stage, two engines. Topic. Current design. Topic RL one O B two specifications Thrust altitude twenty four thousand seven hundred fifty LBF one hundred ten point one kilonewtons Design expander cycle Specific impulse four hundred sixty five point five seconds four point five six five kilometers per second Engine weight, dry, 664 pounds, 301.2 kilograms. Height, 163.5 in, 4.14 meters. Diameter, 84.5 in, 2.21 meters. Expansion ratio, 280 to 1. Mixture ratio, 5.88 to 1 oxygen-hydrogen mass ratio. 
propellants, liquid oxygen, liquid hydrogen, propellant flow, fuel, 7.72 pounds per second, 3.5 kilograms per second, oxidizer, 41.42 pounds per second, 20. 6 kg per second contractor Pratt and Whitney vehicle application delta 3 delta 4 second stage one engine topic RL10A42 the other current model the RL10A42 is the engine used on Centaur upper stage for Atlas V Topic. Possible successor In 2012 NASA joined with the U.S. Air Force USAF to study next-generation upper-stage propulsion, formalizing the agency's joint interests in a new upper-stage engine to replace the Aerojet Rocketdyne RL-10. We know the list price on an RL-10. If you look at cost over time, a very large portion of the unit cost of the EELVs is attributable to the propulsion systems, and the RL-10 is a very old engine, and there's a lot of craftwork associated with its manufacture. That's what this study will figure out, is it worthwhile to build an RL-10 replacement? From the study, NASA hopes to find a less expensive RL-10 class engine for a third stage of the Space Launch System SLS. USAF hopes to replace the Rocketdyne RL-10 engines used on the upper stage of both the Lockheed Martin Atlas V and the Boeing Delta IV, known as Evolved Expendable Launch Vehicles EELV, that are the primary methods of putting U.S. government satellites into space. This relates to the requirements study of the Affordable Upper Stage Engine Program AUSEP, liquid rocket engine for use on upper stages of medium and heavy class launch vehicles, including the Evolved Expendable Launch Vehicle EELV, family of launch vehicles. Topic engines on display and RL-10 is on display at the New England Air Museum, Windsor Locks, Connecticut and RL-10 is on display at the Museum of Science and Industry, Chicago, Illinois and RL-10 is on display at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, Huntsville, Alabama and RL-10 is on display at Southern University, Baton Rouge, Louisiana Two RL-10 engines are on display at U.S. Space Walk of Fame, Titusville, Florida and RL-10 is on display in the Aerospace Engineering Department. Department, Davis Hall at Auburn University. An RL-10A4 is on display at the Science Museum in London, UK. An RL-10 is on display at the Museum of Life and Science in Durham, North Carolina and RL-10 is on display at the San Diego Air and Space Museum in San Diego, California. Topic. See also Spacecraft propulsion RL-60 Road 0146 XCOR, ULA aluminum alloy nozzle engine, under development in 2011